Hey, everybody. Welcome to a new show called Cloud Dev Clarity. I'm Andrew Connell, and I'm excited to uh, share this with you. Um, in this first episode, we're going to do a little bit of introduction on what you can find with this show. But before I get too deep into this, I want to bring in my trusty co-host. I'm not nearly skilled to do this on my own. So I want to bring in and introduce to you, Julie Turner. Julie, how are you hey, doing? Hey, great. Thank you, Andrew. Welcome. This is going to be yeah, welcome. So welcome good. To, so good. To you, to, to me, to hopefully everybody else yep. that's watching. Of course, nobody's watching right now except for the two of us. Right? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. So what Julie and I wanted to do is we wanted to kind of explain in this first episode, um, just cards on the table. This is being pre-recorded before we launch this. We're recording a couple things like this first episode is what is this cloud dev clarity thing? What is this show kind of explaining what it is? Um, we'll have another episode or two where Julie and I introduce ourselves in case you're not familiar with the two of us. Yeah. Give um, you some background, back, right? Yeah. Give us a little bit of, get, let, allows us to give you some background on who we are and without you having to go hunt and peck, like, you know, where are they on GitHub or where are they on Twitter? Or where are they on Facebook exactly. or all those different exactly. places? Um, but in this episode, we want to just briefly kind of talk about what the hell is this thing that we were doing and really answer three questions. What is it? Why is it? And well, when kind of when we started doing this and when you can expect to see stuff. So before I get too deep into this, if you want to get in touch with us, if you want to contact us about the show, if you got any questions, if you got any feedback, if you got any topic ideas, once we get into this and we kind of explain it, best way to reach us is either using that or using, see, this is new. This is the first time we're doing it. Or you can use Julie's. Let me put my hands in Julie's screen. Oh, I can't do that. They're over here. Oh, my, my hands got cut off. See, I so, said no pointing, no pointing. This is tricky. Yeah, exactly. You can so, find us on our Twitter handles that are right here. Below exactly. Us. Oh, there. That was perfect. Your hand placement yeah. was perfect. So mine is like, there. nope, wrong side. <laughs> right there. I'll just. I'll see if I can hold mine up like this. Anyway, sorry. I'm, I'm getting a little goofy here. We're gonna have fun with this. It's gonna be totally casual. Not gonna yes. be overly produced or produced yes, at no, all. It's not produced at all. Not even. Yeah. Yeah. So meant to be casual. What Julie, what Julie and I wanted to do is we wanted to kind of just explain why we're doing this and first uh, let's explain what this is and then we'll explain kind of why we're doing it or do you think what do you think we think we should do the other way around yeah, let's, like, why, no what, let's just sort of let's about? just go back and sort of say how this came about so effectively you and i are both on the microsoft 365 community team they're also known as the pnp team and we were in a conversation mm -hmm. with some of our our colleagues we were really talking about the fact that there's nothing we were lamenting that we mm -hmm. were not seeing as much heavy duty coding coverage in talks and in, in uh, you know presentations from the Microsoft world. We were it was right after Build happened, and it was kind of like disappointing that we weren't seeing really heavy duty dev topics. And mm -hmm. we were kind of like, hey we should really start talking about these heavy duty dev topics a little bit more because I think people are missing out. You know, there's so much yeah. talk about the, how do I do devy things without being a dev? And I think the real devs in the world are sort of losing out on content that's really directed at people who really embrace development, you know, deeply and want to keep learning all the time, yeah. which if you're a good de developer, that's what you want, right? You want to constantly learn and, and learn from your colleagues. So, yeah, and I think and I think that the other part of this too, the other part of our conversation when we were talking about this that day, um, was that, or at least for me, it was, yeah, uh, was that we most of these kinds of things are presentations. They're one way. They're not conversations. Yeah. And when you speak in, when it's just one person presenting it, or just two people presenting it. It's their opinion, but it's not so much of a give and take and kind of a dialogue with it. Right. Um, and so I think that to me, one of the things that I, one of the reasons that I like to do this or that I want to do this, I want, I didn't want to do, I didn't want to do and have another like Microsoft run call. And there's nothing wrong with all these community calls. Oh, that Microsoft yeah. No. Does. Yep. You know, they're great. They serve a good purpose where they talk about updates. So what's going on, the patterns and practices thing, and pattern practices group. Um, they're also where they're doing, um, uh, showing demos from the community. That's not what you and I are going to try and do here. We're not no, going to give updates on this. We have a list of, well, frankly, we have quite a backlog before we've even recorded the first few minutes of our first <laughs> exactly. show um, of topics that we want to dive into. But I think a lot of it was that, uh, and this will kind of explain a little bit of like, you know, what this is, is that you and I wanted to, 
you and I really get to, we really enjoy getting together and talking about this kind of stuff and yep. about these topics, but also about things where we, we also can have very different perspectives and opinions on it. Yeah. Um, but I like to think that we both respect each other's, even if we disagree, we both very, we respect each other's opinions on it. I, like I, I love working with you. I, no, I don't get a chance to work with you. I love working with you and interacting with you on this stuff. Um, because of your take on this, on these topics, because of your experiences as a, as a developer, or I know I'm going to slip and say it a few times, but I hate the moniker pro developer. Yeah. I've been um, trying not it, to say it too, for this similar reason. Yeah. It, it just, I mean, with, with all the stuff with like citizen developer or fusion developer or low code, no code stuff, I feel like when I start saying pro developer and you and I've talked about this, it feels like I'm being defensive and yeah. I, and I'm not, I'm not being defensive because I don't feel like the different kinds of developers are threatening. Um, it's just more that like, I want to make sure that we're talking about, I'm talking to an audience that's going to be typically traditionally opening up visual studio or opening up visual studio code or writing C sharp or JavaScript or TypeScript or go and not using a, uh, a designer or a web interface to go through and to build out and don't like, expect workflows to. and stuff. And right. I don't expect, and don't to. expect yeah. to. Right. Yeah. And I think that's the key here, right? These are yeah. this, the, the audience that we're hoping to address are those who want to write braces, <laughs> you know, code with braces is what we do. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's the goal. And, and it's to have that conversation because we come at this at a different from a different perspective and we have experiences with different aspects of this technology. So, you know, I love talking to you when I can be like, Hey, I started using X, Y, Z. I know you've been using that for a while. What's your take on this? Would, is that the way you would do it? Because that's interesting. Right. And I, I yeah. learn something every single time we have one of those conversations. So, yeah. I, I mean, if you're the kind of person that does not like roll your eyes or be like, oh my God, again, I'm hearing this again about when there's code involved, when there's JSON involved, when there's a YAML file involved, where there's a right. compiler involved or where there's a version number that's involved and you're having to deal with all those kinds of things and like the CLI, if you roll your eyes at that stuff, we're probably not the right, they're probably not the right <laughs> audience for you. No. Which is fine. No, there's plenty of places for that. But Absolutely. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, so we, we looked at this and I wanted, and I thought that you and I, had kind of a sidebar conversation with it in, in, in that in that call with Microsoft or with some Microsoft people. And it was really like, look, I, I really think there needs to be something by the community. And I really think it needs to be something that is not driven by a Microsoft and Amazon and Google, that this right. is just a, no, these are just, these are just developers that are out there. And I don't want it to be, I don't want to be hamstrung with like, you know, what, what some company tells us that we have to do. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of how this how this came about. Um, We've started talking guess, about the what. The when is is right now. We said, like you said earlier, we we have a backlog of a bunch of topics. What we think we want to do, right, is maybe one a month. But we're really open. This is brand new. This is episode one. We're going to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. We're hoping that the, um, you know if if people are out there are are watching and liking what we're delivering that they can give us feedback and, and Hey, you know, who knows what will change, but primarily right. I think we're going to start off once a month and they're going to be these, you and me having a conversation about a particular topic. Yep. Maybe that will be more. Maybe we'll start doing some interviews. Maybe we'll have some guests. I don't even know. <laughs> maybe yeah. we'll, maybe there'll be a hot piece of, news that gets released that's really interesting and it bears talking about like a new feature on github or a new azure service or whatever um yeah. there will be bitch fests i i suspect um we can, that's one thing you and i do a decent I job of. we can we can complain quite well we complain like no other mm -hmm. um I hope we do talk a little bit about um, architectural and design patterns. That's something that I've been yep. re-embracing recently that um, yep. I lament that I feel like, and maybe this is wrong, but I feel like I'm getting a vibe that there's a lot of um, more junior people that are coming up through the development ranks that aren't really learning these patterns this the way we sort of did back, <laughs> back in the day, back in my day. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's, I think that the, with the whole thing with design patterns, 
I think that a lot of that is comes more from academia right. and from your experience. If you go to school for um, for a, a degree in like software development or software engineering, um, that those things are discussed about like you know the different sorting Agreed. options that you have and those and so that's it's a little more familiar to people like someone says singleton or someone says observer or factory or stuff like that or caching but, corollaries <laughs> yeah people understand what that stuff is some certain right. people understand what that stuff is but then there's a lot of people like for me as well that like i didn't go to school for this stuff and i'm all very much self-taught uh for around all the software development stuff that i've done um for the for the most part i mean i didn't go to school for i, I switched my major at the very end of my college career and that's and i where I kind of started going more in this direction, but for the majority, I would say I was self-taught. Yeah. And I think that the majority of the people who are self-taught and they do kind of get into this, or if you're coming from an IT pro background and you're going into development, th some of those topics aren't really like design patterns aren't as, as um, yeah. it's not something that you didn't grow up with that. You And so no. it, that's gonna be a little more foreign, but yeah. yeah and I, I think that, that's okay. Don't get me wrong. Oh, totally. It's just that I think if you're really into this, and you're really into being a developer, like kind of understanding those things and learning about them isn't the worst thing in the world. So I kind of hope we, yeah. we do dabble in that uh, yeah. topic as we go forward. Oh, I, I totally think we will. I mean, I, I totally I can think of a couple of things that we're going to, that we're, that we'll focus on yeah. with it. But I mean, yeah, I want to, I want to reiterate a couple of things like just to right now, what our expectation is or what our current plan is, and it's all subject to change. And really it's subject to change with how we feel about this stuff, but also subject to change on if we get start getting feedback and it's, People want us to go in the direction we want to go in. I mean, but I, right. there are there are directions I know we don't want to go in. So if someone calls it, you know, I say calls them, but if someone starts giving us feedback, say, would you, you know, compare and contrast using this different kind of a power app or this power app? And I'm like, no, no. And the reason why is because that's not my wheelhouse. I can't, I can't right. do that. Yeah. So, um, but these are mostly going to be, I would expect them to be mostly Julie and myself talking to each other and we may right now these are pre-recorded um i would love it if we could get to the point where these are like live things where other people can join in and watch and be interactive with like an audience so think about like a, yeah. a session at a conference and then you raise your hand drop your question in, and we can answer them we have a cool the, the tool we're using for this is a cool little way for us to show it show your comment at the bottom of the screen yeah um but i think that i can one see of us getting cool there but let's just see where it goes right and maybe nobody's interested in that and we'll just do it this way so who knows Ooh. Yeah. He's we playing. have cool little toys like this. Yeah, we, yes. why, you don't have to look at the logos on stuff the whole time. But um, so that's one. Um, and like like Julie said, too, maybe we bring somebody on for an, for an interview. Maybe we bring a third person in to have a conversation with us. Right. And it's not and it's just ends up being like we're all instead of us interviewing them, it's just more or less like another panelist, I guess is the right. way to say it. Yeah, I think that's a really um, great way to say it. We're, we're going to yeah. we're sort of treating it as a panel versus an interview. Yeah. And it's, and so I guess the other thing is, is that that's kind of like the format of what we're doing. Um, that's kind of the, and we've explained a little bit of the why of what we're doing as well. And then the win, like Julie said, our current target is be conservative and say, we're going to do one of these a month. This may turn into being like once a week or may yeah, just turn into being like once every two weeks and maybe very arbitrary when things come out, we may have seen like a release that we want to talk about. Right. Um, that be focused on it. But I think the other thing that we do want to, that we do want to focus on or that we do want to, I do want to cover in, in this episode is like the topics. So what, when we say cloud dev clarity, you know, what can you expect if you come into this going, Hey, I'm a, you know, I'm all into, what is it like um, using stuff like crypto and my yeah. hardware wallet. And it's like, no, that's, this is, that, that's not what this is. Yeah. Um, or I'm into embedded devices. No, no, no. Yeah, this is Julie and I primarily our background is or at least our background today where our life is today is right primarily in the space of Microsoft 365 development. So that includes a lot of mostly SharePoint framework that includes um, Microsoft Teams based stuff. Um, I guess I'll, I, and things that are like derivative or that we use to implement those kind well, of solutions. Well, in a Azure Stack, in, yeah. that's a product. So let me be careful about that, but the, uh, the products and, and features of the Azure environment. So all of that is, is definitely part of our wheelhouse because we have to, to use that to do some of the extensibility projects. So that, yeah. 
And I mean, yeah, so like, primarily Microsoft tech is, is where we're going to come from. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're both, I would say we're both primary, you correct me if I'm wrong, I would say we're both primarily today, Microsoft 365 developers. Yep. And we leverage Azure to implement stuff that we, that we're, we're needed. Right. right. Yep, so, 100%. and I would, I would also throw in there, let's throw a couple other terms in there. We're web developers. We're cloud yep. native. Yep. Um, we as are, much as I want again. <laughs> yeah, we, the, the technologies that we focus on are, um, well, I'll let you go first. What technologies well, do you focus on? Yeah. I mean, I, well, I, I span, I cross the line, right. But you know, no JS and JavaScript and TypeScript and, you know, more HTML and CSS than I probably want to. <laughs> um, although I have colleagues for that, uh, C sharp, a lot of C sharp. So then i.e. the .NET, right? Um, and, um, you know, some server types, like I can still do pretty well at SQL Server and those kinds of things for writing SQL statements and stuff like that. But that's, that's sort of data technology. Um, yeah. You know, so that kind of stuff. I mean, that's my yeah. bread and butter. That's my day in, so, my day out. Yeah, and so I, and I guess for me, it's, I'm, we'll do more of like the intro of who we are, and I'm sure we'll cover more of this as well, but being the first episode. And if, that those videos are going to go live at the same time that yeah. we go live with this one. And so we will put links to like my bio. If you look at the top of the screen or in the description under this video, um, there will be uh, my bio would be in the video for my bio will be in there. Same. We'll have a video in there for Julie as well, for Julie's bio yep. as well. So that if you want to learn more about, if you're not familiar with who we are, um, then that's a great way to go through and kind yeah. of learn more about who we are. But my answer to like what the answer that Julie just gave is that I would say I'm, Primarily using, I'm primarily a TypeScript person, um, right. TypeScript, JavaScript. Um, I do that everywhere I possibly can and where yeah. it's supported. So client side, server side via Node. Um, when it comes to compiled stuff, traditionally I got a history with .NET. I really don't like .NET right now. I really try to avoid it. And I really want to get my feet under me more with uh, Go and with, um, well, really with Go. And then I got a passion with, to learn Python, but um, Go is the big is the one I really want to focus on. I just I know that like, so much stuff is is still like when it's server side, it's still Microsoft is still .NET. I just I really dislike where they where it's gone lately. It's just my it's just my opinion. Yeah, so it's no, I hear you. I hear you. It's my take. Um, I'm so old school. I end up falling back into C sharp every time I write server based stuff, just because like I just don't even hmm. think about it. Like it's just yeah. where I go. And um, yeah, so I hear you. I'm trying. My it, goal right now is to sort of try to step away from frameworks, front like client side dev. Oh yeah, that's frameworks. a good yeah. yeah. That's, that's so. I, I was going to say when it's client side, I'm a React person, formerly an Angular person. But you, as are trying was to go I, like I was React, and then I was uh, well, I was Angular first, and then React, and now I'm trying to drop React as well, and 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 move away to um, com web component style uh that's, that's a little tricky of an area so i'll 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 acknowledge that it's a tricky statement but i'll also use it i'm trying to go to pure web component development so um and it's a topic releasing the framework it is it is a topic <laughs> yeah um let's see so what else do we want to cover here oh why don't we another thing we can throw out with this is why don't we throw out some of the ideas that we have for I was our, just going to say, episode. you want to tease some ideas? I think we should tease uh, some ideas. Let's just start throwing out some words here. Let's and throw let's just... out the one that has a huge amount of history because of Paul Schaefline. Auth. We're going to talk oh, about Oh, there you Auth. go. Auth. Yeah. <laughs> We're not totally going to actually drink margaritas, but I might grab a margarita glass I'm... as my water glass for that day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should drink margaritas. We it might be the only way we could have that conversation. We didn't discuss that ahead of time that we weren't. Oh, sorry. My bad. Anyway. Yeah. So like uh, talking about like OAuth, OAuth 2, um, mm -hmm. I think our first real, like we have ideas about like our, like what we're going to have is like a scope about what we want to have, we want to talk about. Yep. And we're going to have things like um, what's like the Microsoft 365, what's the developer scope. We're going to talk about SharePoint framework. We're going to talk about uh, Microsoft Teams. We're going to talk about Azure. We're going to talk about DevOps stuff. So like yeah. CI and CD with, I, I think that you know, we're going to do that. Yeah. Yep. Azure DevOps, GitHub Actions, testing, yep. automated testing, 
um, infrastructure as code. So doing things with like ARM or BICEP, um, topics on web frameworks, Angular, most probably React mostly, dev tools. Yeah. Yep. Um, a little bit more even design side, um, Fluent UI versus like uh, the library that I help maintain with Stefan Bauer H2O. So mm -hmm. where that whole lay, out, lay of the land is and, and why you care. So that um, mm -hmm. web hooks, big passion project for me. Mm -hmm. Different HTTP. Did you say that already? The HTTP protocols? Um, no, no. HTTP1 and HTTP2. Yeah, HTTP1 yeah. and HTTP2. Uh, ooh, Azure Functions versus Azure Web Apps versus Web Jobs. And what the heck mm -hmm. is the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those things. Uh, React. Uh, we're going to go with higher order components or like the class style of building things or oh, hooks. Oh, right. Yeah. You and I have a nice little, you and I are definitely on two different sides there. We are Thankfully, absolutely on two different sides of that topic. <laughs> um, REST versus SDKs. Do you want to use an SDK yeah, to go to different sides of that platform? Thing? Yeah. Um, like I said, or like Julie said, do you even need a web framework? Do you even need? Right. Do you even need? Um, React, um, managed identities, Microsoft Teams app development options. Like, yep. I'll explain why I have a why I like to use the term native uh, team dev versus like using something like SharePoint Framework. Yeah. Um, so that's lots just yeah, lots of stuff to talk about here. Um, I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping people will like reach out to us with topic ideas too, because I mean, obviously these are ones we came up with, but. You know, mm -hmm. hey, if people are submitting a bunch and they're like over and over, it's like, hey, I want to hear about this. Well, we can prioritize that, right? Yep. Oh, totally. To I mean, there's yeah. we have a schedule of what we're going to talk about, but I'm not right. telling anybody. We're so <laughs> we it's not public knowledge. We don't care. Right. We have so what we will do is we have an idea um, on this first. Uh, the first one, we have an idea of where we were going to create like a little bit of a forum for people to jump in and post questions where we can have like dialogues and stuff like that. Have a couple different ideas on where we can on where we can do that. Um, right now, if you have feedback for us, though, on where, you know, topics and stuff, yep. either drop a comment in the notes uh, in the description below this video um, or use our Twitter handles that you see like right below us here. Um, the videos right now, they are being published on the, I'm double checking that we actually talked about this. Yes, we did. We're going to publish them on Voitanos and I will oh, on the also YouTube publish channel. them, right. The Voitanos YouTube channel, and we will co-publish them on the Simpraxis, um, channel. So that's sort yeah. of, well, which we didn't say, we didn't introduce no. ourselves from that perspective, but you know, yeah. those are our Vo organizations of, of note. <laughs> right. So Voitanos is my Voitanos right. is my business and some practices practice your business. Is mine. Yep. And well, my so if you Okay, so technically it's my wife's I, Voitanos is my wife's business. Well, there but, Oh boy. And there it is. I know who I work for. <laughs> 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 so, um Yeah, I may talk a big game, but she's home right now, so mm -hmm. I'm not right now. Yeah, no. Um so yeah, so that's where you'll be that's where you'll be able to find this. Um that's where we'll be able to find the show. We may even go through and lift an MP3 track from this and turn this into a podcast as well. Of course, yeah, that's it's primarily going to be good. video. But if you are more of the listen type, then you'll be able to tune in and listen to it that way. Yep. Um, that's where it is right now. And if you just make sure you follow us on Twitter, whenever we have a new episode, we will most certainly drop it out on yep. Twitter and make it make it make it known that that's where you can find it. But you can also subscribe to the. Some Praxis YouTube channel or my YouTube channel, the Voitanos YouTube channel. So I think yep. that's Voitanos.tv will redirect you there. Um, and that's where you'll be able to find the episodes. We'll make them very clear, make it easy to find them. Yeah. Awesome. Well, cool. I think that's so, a pretty darn good intro. Hopefully well, that explained it all for everybody. 24 minutes. I hope so. <laughs> all right, then. Well, we'll awesome. hopefully so see everybody in a few minutes for the next episode. Because exactly. this isn't live. Tune in, <laughs> tune in because next you're going to hear... Uh, get an intro. You'll find it, learn a little bit more about my great, I think she's over here, co-host, Julie Turner. Yeah, and Andrew oh. Connell. No, All right. Do this. Like, Thanks, everybody. No, like that. High five. Oh, there wait. we go. <sighs> Dude, there we go. I chopped my <laughs> hand off. Chopped your hand off, too. Wait, it's the right anyway. way. There we go. Cool. Thanks a lot, awesome. everybody. And um, hope you tune in for a couple more shows.
Awesome. Thanks. Bye. Bye.